When you're traveling down the interstates, you might see this tree behind me. It can get 80 feet tall. This tree was brought into the United States to become a quick growing shade tree. You know, they needed to bring in trees. This is one that was recommended. It, at that point in time, was called the tree from heaven. It's also known as a Chinese sumac. And botanically, it's known as Alanthus altissima. But we're finding out it's probably not the tree from heaven. It's a tree from somewhere else. This tree produces seed pods that spread all over. And it is a tree that really has given problems to farmers. It grows along fence rows and it spreads very quickly. And it is difficult to eliminate. I'll tell you, you would think by looking at this tree, well, I'll come in and I'll cut it down. Cutting it down makes it worse. And I'll show you in a minute what that does. But this tree comes up, it has roots that go out 20 or 30 feet or more. The roots almost produce something similar to what black walnuts do. It is a hormone that prevents other plants from growing well. This does look like a black walnut, so you do need to be sure if you're trying to get rid of this noxious tree that you're not getting rid of some of the sumacs and you're not getting rid of black walnut. Let me show you what this tree does when you try to cut it down. Last year, I started resurrecting an old vegetable garden, trimming the garden, trimming some of the trees, and lo and behold, right in the front here, I have this so-called tree from heaven. That tree there is probably about five years old. What I did last year was prune some of the side branches and little trunks so I could have an easier time cutting it to the ground. What I found this year was all the way out here and beyond me, all these shoots are coming up from the roots. So if we had eight or nine long roots produced from this tree, all along each of those roots, there are new shoots coming up right in front of me here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 new shoots coming out into growth from this tree here. What does make it a little difficult is if you need to treat this tree, which we'll talk about in a minute, with a weed killer, and once you've cut the tree, there's no way to treat these little new shoots, so you have to individually treat each of them. This is a tree that I really don't recommend for our gardens. Um, it is not the tree from heaven. And if any of you have this on a property that you have, you'll realize that soon. This spring I was looking for a workout, so I decided to go out in the garden and hand dig these tree from heavens. What I found is that where I dug this young tree from, again, 12 feet from the tree, all these shoots started popping up. And this is a young one. Two years ago, I pruned a tree about this size and I cut it in eight foot lengths. I laid the logs on the ground and the logs started sprouting new shoots. This tree is uh, something that none of us really want in our garden. And there's only a couple ways probably you want to deal with this tree. And I just recommend that, you know, you go online to find specific chemicals. But pretty much, if you tried to remove this even with a, a backhoe, all the roots are going to produce new plants. So what you're going to want to do is treat this tree with a recommended chemical that not only kills the tree part you see here, also kills the trunk, and also kills the roots from the trunk. And you can find that out by going online. Uh, you can also find that out by going to garden stores, and they'll give you the recommended products. But again, you want to spray it, and some people have bark treatments, some people have stump treatments, but you want to eliminate it first. And keep in mind, many weed killers work the best in the fall. In the spring, all the uh, nutrients and all the sugars that have been stored all spring long flow upward into the tree. But in the fall, all the nutrients and sugars that have been produced by this tree travel down and go into the roots. So if you're treating it with a product, the product can go farther out into the roots and give you less problems into the future. I'm going to tell you, I don't think this is the tree from heaven. This is the tree from hell. I'm Mark Viette. Join me next time in the garden. For more garden tips, go to indagardenradio.com.